This gangly succulent that looks like it's growing in my cup of joe is called Kalankoe marnariana, which is named after somebody out there. Um, Marnier's Kalankoe is, is its common name. And you can see that it is quite gangly. When I first got this plant, you could get it when it's like a stem that looks, you know, like one of these, like one of these, and it's it's not growing on such a long stem. But after it starts to get older, it starts growing out in these long stems, and you'll see these little uh, root-like structures that come out here. And you could actually, if you if you don't like the way that this like this whimsical kind of like bouncy look of this plant, which I actually tend to love it, so I'm letting it kind of grow this way. Um, then you could actually cut it off and then start to propagate it elsewhere. So you could actually, you know, see that these will also want to propagate themselves a little bit more horizontally and then start to grow up again. So this actually, you know, gives a lot of nice height if you're growing it in with a, in a container planting. You could get these a little bit smaller and then they start to grow a little bit more like this. Now this one's growing in my southwest facing window and it's just completely happy there. You, you, uh, it, likes, it likes a little bit more light. So if you're giving this kind of like a shadier environment, it's probably not going to survive as much. Or if you are, then it might actually start to, to deepen the, the chlorophyll or green up its leaves a little bit more. Um, I have this growing in a pretty rocky mixture and I think that's probably typical for these plants. These are native, I believe, to uh, Madagascar. And, uh, and they don't need a lot of humidity. Uh, they don't need an intense amount of watering. You know, these are pretty succulent, succulent plants right here. So, um, you know, I water based on relation to the light that I'm giving it. So like in the summer months, then I'm probably watering it like once every week. And mind you, I did not pop any holes in these little planter pots that I got from Junk Brooklyn. You might have re recognized that I have another plant um, in, a, in a, I have a couple of these that I actually have uh, that I'm growing some, some succulents in. I just really love growing plants in kind of all oddball <laughs> containers. And, uh, and plus it's easy to hold. So when I could like go and water it in my sink, I could actually go and, and walk it over very easily. Um, Anyway, it's, it's a very easy plant to grow. And like I said, if you don't want these kind of gangly bits, then you could actually just cut them back. Uh, succulents take to very well to, to cutting, and these are particularly good at, uh, at, cutting, um, at cuttings. And that's actually how you, you propagate them is just by you know, tri trimming them back and giving them for your next plant swap, if you will. So uh, as far as resiliency to pests, I would say that I haven't gotten any pests on this whatsoever. Great plant, especially if you're if you have a, like a lot of intense light. You could actually grow this out in your landscape as well if you're not in the Northeast like I am because we can't grow a lot of succulents outdoors. Um, but this one is great if you're like in California or if you're in the Southwest of the United States, then um, then this one was probably going to be a prolific grower outside as well. Mm -hmm.